Hi, very good morning. In this session, let us get introduced and working with the Eclipse IDE. So initially, let us go through the basic theory, what exactly the importance of Eclipse and other IDEs are available for Java programming. Okay. So when coming to agenda today, introduction, IDEs, Eclipse, demo and wrapper. So what is then exactly an IDE? So basically what does ID stands for? Any idea? Yeah. So integrated development environment. So integrated development environment. Suppose if you want to develop a program, you should have integrated tools which will allow you to implement a program immediately. Okay. So it will give you better better convenient hi very good morning so in this session let us get introduced to eclipse id and work with the eclipse okay so here our agenda is introduction, IDEs, Eclipse, demo and wrap up. So what exactly an IDE? So what does it do? Any idea? Hi, very good morning. In this session, let me introduce you Eclipse ID and thereafter let us work with the Eclipse ID one or two projects. Okay. So in this uh, presentation, my agenda here is introduction, IDEs, Eclipse, demo and wrap up. What is exactly an IDE? Then what does IDE stands for? So simply IDE is nothing but integrated development environment and it will help us to implement our project easily. It will provide us better environment where we can develop our project easily. Why would I want to use one? IDE is generally Save your time, allow you to be more efficient, remember class, member, package, names for you, present your classes in a meaningful and organized way, allow you to debug code, so it means that it will allow you better environment where you can debug the errors, debug means find the bug and fix it, automate repetitive tasks so what ids are out there there are number of commercial and non-commercial ids are available today uh, namely microsoft.net visual studio through this we can also write a java program right and jbuilder sun1 studio xcode apple, for apple emacs and eclipse so these are the various ids are available in addition to this, you will be also having NetBeans IDE, right? Already have worked with NetBeans in the earlier sessions. So the Eclipse project. So it's a an open source software development project dedicated to providing a robust, full feature, commercial quality, industry platform for the development of highly integrated tools. So this is the simple uh, definition for the Eclipse project, initially formed in November of 2011 from industry leaders. And then February 2nd, 2004, Eclipse uh, reorganized into a not-for-profit corporation. All technology will remain openly available and royalty free. This is the 
the status of Eclipse by Bitdoll. So when coming to the Eclipse platform, so it will be available at www.eclipse.watch and it is a crash platform uh, it will working on windows linux xos solaris ax hpx and java source so it has three sub projects namely platform jde jdt and pd jdt stands for java development tools PD stands for plugin development environment. So collectively we can have a Eclipse. So it provides the core frameworks and services and integration, generic debug uh, framework, text editor framework, UI, overall platform and other related support. PD. When coming to the PD, it is simply called as plugin development environment, allows third party developers to develop extensions to the Eclipse ID. So do you know, uh, are you ever heard about plugin? Plugin is a small piece of software which is developed by third party and which is supposed to enhance the existing software. It will it is enhance the function of the existing software. Let us take an example Photoshop. In the Photoshop, there are many plugins are being available today. Suppose if you want to work with uh, some paints or some arts, so there might be certain plugins. If you can install those respective plugins, you can utilize those services in addition to the normal Photoshop functionality. So here, if you can take, for example, integration with other tools like Perforce, Visual Source Safe, Rational. So these are all the various tools which are third party by installing plugins respective plugins we can use our eclipse as a those resources actually easy of development so struts jsf swing uml ejbs these are the various various advanced structures advanced tools uh, which will follow some mvc architecture we can also implement those things using eclipse id so it, it, it means that uh, Eclipse will provide us this kind of uh, MVS architecture environment, okay? And many others like RSS readers, other language editors, right? Good searching mechanism. Java development tools, JDT stands for Java development tools. Add a full featured Java IDE to the Eclipse platform and build functionality index based infrastructure that allows for searching code assist and refactoring so if you can understand here if you can try to understand here index based infrastructure means it will give us for searching particular keyword and uh, it will give you for some code assist and it will also help you to refactoring refactoring means you can rename the particular uh, class name or uh, initially if you give name wrongly then you can refactor immediately and several UI features such as package view type hierarchy view java outline view wizards for creating java elements wizards in sense collection of uh, pages or forms together which will give us a project within a short time we will see all these things when we are working with the eclipse id once we have completion of this ppt and java editor it is also having java editor these are all the various features available under java development tools java editor in eclipse so there is a full featured editor integrated into eclipse platform providing keyboard highlighting syntax highlighting code assist margin annotations for errors breakpoints or search matches outliner that updates your code AP help that AP means application programming interface. So, in uh, so AP help that shows information from the Java doc. Import assistance that will create import declarations for you. Code for formatting to allow for the consistent and clean code. Refactoring support, debugger. These are the various features available in the Java editor in Eclipse ID. 
so what does it look like so it's like a it's all depends on our perspective different perspectives provided developers with different sets of views views support the editors and provide the developers with ways to navigate through the projects eclipse comes built pre built with several perspectives there are you know resource java java browsing debug cvs and plugin development team synchronization these are the various perspectives comes with it is there all comes in the built in perspectives from the eclipse ide okay so resource you can see java you can see java browsing perspective you can see debug perspective you can see cvs perspective you can see and plugin development perspective you can see team synchronization perspective you can see let us take the look at the workbench from the java perspective so this is the workbench actually a parts of eclipse id so here if you can see so this is menu bar tool bar perspective and the fast view bar this is called perspective and fast view bar and resource navigation view this is called resource navigation view and here properties view message area and tech this is center box in the center you will be having a white space uh, like a box it is called actually text editor where you can write the program and in the just right side of this id there is a called outline view so here you will be finding what exactly outline so class is there and method is there like that you can view and bookmarks view this is bookmarks view so here in the bottom you will be having status like a bar so it is status area you can see what exactly the operation is being run now and tasks view these are the this is the window where you can see the tasks okay and here properties view message view here also you can see the message okay this way we will be having different kinds of tools why we can call the editions all these windows are integrated together and help us to design a project within note okay so java perspective so this is one window where you can see the java perspective so this is see project package explorer this is workspace this is outline here it is output console if you can click this tab you will get the console java editor this is java editor window where you will be having comments generated comments and uh, respective classes tab interface so this is this java editor is a tab interface if we as long as you are creating new classes the class will be created with tab symbol so code assist this is code assist type errors and suggestions so here you can see outline pane this is outline pane members at the glance we can look all the members here they are perspective okay so so here you can see try to go here and see explore views these are the various views various package various classes on the methods available in this project test institution rules here there are many packages actually status view view results errors console java browsing this is java browsing window we can also see the program by clicking here So this is about various uh, components of Eclipse ID. Now, what we'll do is uh, let me introduce uh, uh, Eclipse ID in uh, in this uh, system, and let us go with the simple hello world pro hello world program, and let us show to the how to work with project. Okay.
is the uh, C. For Eclipse, you need not install any software. Simply dump this Eclipse software into your drive and uh, make the shortcut on the desktop. This is the This is the Eclipse IDE. So here, this is title bar, menu bar, toolbox, toolbar, here title explorer. Okay. So this is outline. And here you can see. Okay. So this is a simple ID, here it is console that is output you can see. So let us work with this uh, clip. You need not to install it separately. Simply you can take that exe file shortcut on your desktop, then click on that what I did just now. Okay, just go to file menu, new project. So let it be a Java project. So you can give the project name. You want to use the test. Let it be the MDG test. So here use default location, or you can also change your location, whatever, wherever you want to set. And use an execution engine on the JRE. So before this, you need to install the Java automatically. That will be identified here. And uh, so you can keep as this, don't change anything here. Next, so here you will find this. Just click finish button. Okay. So here you will find the folder like this. This is just created for it. This is the project name and the SRC. So once if you apply this right click, we will be finding pop this is pop-up menu. In this pop-up menu new Java project, Android project. Application project. There are many other projects based on your requirement. You are going to install the plugins which you have discussed in the PPT. So, now I would like to create a class or package. Class, let it be class. By default, class will give you these uh, options. So, if I want to make it main class, so public static variable, you can select this. And already we have discussed in the week one, object is the super class. Now you can choose Java dot language dot object. So, like that, you will be getting the environment like this. Java. So, automatically this. That that Java will be created. So as you can see here. The public class test public static void name things. So here 
auto generated matrix type here you can implement here you need to write a code see the flip side is this it won't give you everything we have to write program otherwise it won't give you everything to remember but it will help us to do our project a bit fast so this can go off so automatically it will give you some intelligence So these many methods are available in this auto object. So, so print L and R. Now you can see. Suppose there is no semicolon. Will be having an error. Syntax error. Like this, you will be able to identify any error out there in the code. Okay. Now there is an error. How to execute? So I am going to execute on this. Apply right click. As it is a console application, run as Java. Run as Java. This is also okay. Can double click and do the next. This is a simple application, but right? this way we are going to implement the uh, Java program into this L. So, so I'll I'll show you how to import already, how to import a already existing file. Go to go to import option. Now I'll let you know how to import a existing file in the system. File import. Select archive file since we are having the contact file. So here it is. Open. Prepare for source code. Add files to add files to working sets. Then finish. Once after this. After uh, importing, you will be finding the folder called paper. Okay. So like this, you will be getting the already available code. So in this project, you will be given actually skeleton code. So what are the Incompleted steps or then that you have to finish. Okay, so you have to understand what exactly code inside. Okay, so you will be given skeleton code. So you have to fill fill the rest of the code which is required. Okay, so I hope you got how to implement a simple project. In Eclipse IDE. So with this, uh, I'm going to end up here, and you can you can uh, work from your system. And if you have any doubts, feel free to approach me. And, uh, and I wish you all the best for this project.